Hello, my name's Guy Kesteven. I've been a professional bike and kit tester for over 25 years. And today, I'm going to talk to you briefly about probably the grippiest enduro tyres I've ever used. Pirelli Scorpion Enduro Race M and Race T. So, super grippy, lovely soft compound, great feel, comfortable, compliant, seem plenty tough, great set of confidence-inspiring gravity tyres, but literally at a cost in terms of weight, in terms of how fast they roll, and absolutely obscenely expensive. The cost of gripping crisis is real. So that's the basic rundown. Uh, let's go into more detail on them now. So both tyres use a new uh, dual wall carcass. That's a double 120 TPI. So it's a bit like Maxxis Double D. And tyre weight is very similar. Uh, these 29 by 2.5s weigh kind of similar to a Double D Maxxis uh, Asagai. And you'll see there's some familiarity in the tread as well. Uh, then you've got what they call oh, Pro Evo DH. I think if that's wrong, I'll stick a caption up. But basically, 42A, so very soft compound over a harder compound. But that 42A goes right across the tread. So you're getting uh, serious stiction and a nice damped feel from the rubber all the way over. It's not dual compound or anything like that. They blow up really easily. They fit on nicely. They're supple enough to get them on without tyre levers if you've got tough thumbs like I have. That's not a boast. It's kind of a professional qualification. Uh, but interestingly, while this tyre is pretty much bang on uh, 2.48 inches, this one across the carcass is only 57 mil. Uh, I mean, it comes up to uh, full width once you measure the knobs in, because you've got those big Citadel side knobs on the shoulders there for plenty of grip. But the actual carcass is a lot smaller on this T, uh, which is kind of a rear race tie. It's not, I don't think it's meant to be, but I've had a similar sizing issue on carcasses on other uh, Scorpion uh, Enduro tyres, not the race, but the Enduro tyres as well. But this is the 27.5, so the 29 might be fine. And like I say, this M, which is the more all-rounder tread, uh, the sizing is absolutely bang on. You've got a reinforcing strip right down on the rim edge as well, so that's extra protection there. I've had zero problems with them squirming, losing pressure or rolling around, even when I've been running them like, you know, well into teen pressures. And Mad Mick Kirkman, who I do a lot of testing photography work with, who uh, writes for MBR and Bike Perfect like I do, uh, he jumped straight on them and took them to the Alps and uh, absolutely loved them out there. So, really good durable tyre, nice and stable. And unlike the previous uh, Scorpion Enduro tyres, I mean, the first generation ones, very, very fast, kinetically super quick, but by God, they have like serious poltergeist tendencies. Those things threw stuff everywhere, bottles out of cages, they slammed your suspension right through, even if you've never bottomed it out before. They were a proper handful. These, completely different. These have had a proper exorcism, uh, no more demonic behaviour on descents. In fact, probably one of the calmest, most kind of, yeah, relaxing, is that really is that really an application? Yeah, it is. No, I think a tire that keeps you relaxed and kind of calm and quiet on a descent is really, really helpful. Uh, you know, it's not the most exciting uh, sensation, but you know, if 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 exciting means uh, you're getting things wrong, going all over the place, and gonna eat shit, then uh, yeah, super confident, calm, uh, and comfortable tire as well. Certainly on the. Uh, front on this M with the larger carcass. The back one, it's a little bit more battery, but still leagues apart from the previous Scorpion Enduro. And in fact, the current Scorpion Enduro, which is the lighter uh, non-race carcass, that's still a bit of a batterer. Although again, they've actually improved the compound on that. So as an old tra as a trail Enduro all around it, that's, that's okay. And it's a lot faster. These, with this slower, car with this sort of more supple carcass and the slower rubber, 
it, they're a bit of a chore. This is all right on the front. I've been running us on the Druid a lot, and it's it's not bad. It doesn't completely kill your climbing, but stick that T on the back as well with those big paddle treads, and yeah, you're you're going to be dropping one, two gears at least, uh, unless you're getting an uplift. But you know that if your survival is all about hanging uh, off the back of the tire, or or you just want serious amounts of drive, then that. Uh, tread pan is brilliant. It can go a little bit sideways if you really slam the brakes, uh, but as I'm running it mullet, this is 27.5, uh, actually works quite well. I've quite enjoyed, enjoyed that on the Drew because it's quite nice to have something that steps out. And as soon as you get it lent over, those, like I say, those massive side knobs really bite in and it bites and uh, controls really nicely. Uh, so, yeah, uh, did I give you a weight? Yeah, weight 13.60. For the 29 uh, 13.30 around for the 27.5. So it's heavier than Pirelli, say, and but it's similar to something like a Maxis Asaga in a double D, which again has that same uh, dual ply carcass. Uh, is that only really leads? I mean, so in terms of performance, great. You know, uh, these are kind of my go to uh, super grippy tyres for days I need confidence or I know the terrain is going to be particularly testing. But there is a significant issue, and that's price. Currently, 82 quid for one of these. 82 quid. Uh, I think they're nigh on $100 in the US. And because they're relatively new, uh, you're not going to find many deals on them either. I mean, to be fair, they seem to wear pretty well. Uh, I've still got the uh, moulding knobs on these and, uh, you know, in terms of impact, in terms of cuts, that kind of thing, they've been absolutely fine. I mean, a 42A will will wear down obviously a lot quicker than a harder compound tyre, but then, you know, they don't see any sign of ripping knobs and stuff like that. So in terms of durability, you know, they're an investment in that sense, but over 80 quid for a tyre, you, you have to say that's pushing it and, you know, the, the cost of gripping crisis is uh, definitely real when it comes to the Pirellis. But if you've got that kind of cash and you want one of the grippiest sets of tyres around, then definitely have a look at these uh, Pirelli Scorpion Enduro Race Rubber. And by paying that much, you at least get the uh, proper yellow uh, Pirelli logo on there, whereas, you know, the other non-race tyres are just white, which I always think is a bit of a missed opportunity. But anyway, uh, hope that's been a useful review for me, uh, from me. Any more questions, just jump into the comments. And, you know, if you want to know what they compare to uh, other tyres on the market, obviously, like I say, I mean, they're definitely right up there with something like a uh, Maxxis Asagai. Maybe not quite as much bite, uh, not much carving bite at least, on the side, they tend to kind of drift into a slide more, but that makes them more controllable on the edge and something that really digs and then lets go. So, uh, yeah, again, just a really, really easy tyre to ride, basically. And the fact they're comfy also really helps if you're battering up and down stuff all day. Uh, but, yeah, uh, yeah, so that's these tyres. Um, you know, thanks to uh, Extra UK for sending them in for review. Uh, massive thanks to my channel sponsors, I'll put the list there, and my Patreon subscribers who pledge on a monthly basis and they get early and exclusively ad-free content as a thank you. So if you've got a little bit of uh, cash, uh, not only could you afford these tyres, but uh, you can put some money my way and uh, help really grow and sustain the channel on Patreon. But otherwise, just no, click for notifications, click for subscriptions, give this a thumbs up, like, and tell your mates about the channel, and let me know what you think of the content and what you want to see next. I've got a ton of kit to get through, so I, was, I just keep saying I'm going to try and keep these short and then just ramble on for ages and ages. So I'm going to stop there and uh, let you get on with your day, safe in the knowledge that you know more about Pirelli finally hitting the spot when it comes to control, confidence, and a huge amount of grip with their enduro tyres. You know, I guess that's what you get with working with Fabian Burrell and uh, all the other Pirelli pro teams that are out there running these development versions of these tyres. And, uh, yeah, it seems like they finally listen to them. I should stop, shouldn't I? I should stop. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.